I'm going to be showing you my uh, music collection. I haven't did a collection in a long time. And this is my music collection. I know there's not a lot of CDs, but on my iPod, I actually uh, get most of my uh, songs from my uh, my dad's CD collection. He has like 300 CDs in it. I just have a few right here, and I'm going to show you my collection. And uh, so uh, let's get started here. First on, on my collection, I got a... <clears throat> I got Bob Marley, and this is a three uh, CD uh, set. Here's some of the songs that come on this C uh, CD. I don't know if you actually read them, probably not, but it's a three CD collection. I had to get Bob Marley, of course. I mean, he's a legend, and who doesn't like Bob Marley? He's pretty good. And some Bob Marley. <clears throat> Next, I got one of my uh, favorite groups. It's not my favorite, but it's on top of there. This uh, group is called uh, The Cranberries. And uh, this might uh, this might be one of my favorites of their albums. It has a uh, dreams on it, which is good. It has a uh, linger, and it has uh, some other stuff which is good on it. I think they're an English or a British group. You could check them out. They're pretty good. They're called the Cranberries. They're not hard rock or anything. They're mellow, but they're a pretty good group. They're called the Cranberries. You see, these called everybody, everyone else is doing it, doing it. Why can't we? The cranberries. Next, I got a, of course, I got the Fray. I have uh, both their albums. They only made like two or three. I like their first album better than this one, but one of the songs I like on here is a, uh, uh, of course, uh, I like uh, Never Say Never and You Found Me, which is pretty good. But I prefer their uh, first album over this album because it had way more uh, better songs. It, it just in my opinion. And as I'm going through this, uh, don't really judge me. It's just uh, my CDs and. Uh, I hope you enjoy my uh, CD collection. So uh, next, I got another Cranberries. This one got like just all their hits from all their CDs combined. It's not really a greatest hit, but it's like their best of like it's, it says from a. Uh, I don't know if you read that, but it says best of uh, 1992 to uh, 02 2002. It got their best hits on here. This one's pretty good. If you want to get one, get get this one because it got most of their greatest hits on there from their whole band. Which is uh, really good. And then next I got, it's it's broken up, but it still works. And I don't got the uh, actual uh, <clears throat> album cover to it, artwork. It's the uh, Alien Ant Farm. They made a remake of Smooth Criminal. You can check that out. It's pretty good. They're kind of uh, heavy metal. Well, not heavy metal, but hard rock. And they're a pretty good group. I only have one CD by them. A they're called uh, Alien Ant Farm. Check them out. I think they're pretty good. And uh, yeah. Next, I got a Kiss Double Platinum. It got a lot of their good songs on here. It got like a Strutter. It got I think it got Rock and Roll All Night on here. I'm not sure. I know it got uh, Dr. Love on it and stuff. It's pretty good. Double Platinum. I do like Kiss. They're pretty good. Good band. Kiss Double Platinum. And then uh, <clears throat> this, this one's called uh, Beck Mellow Gold. But you, uh, uh, if you get this uh, CD, you do got to get used to them. They're a little different than most groups. So before you buy this, I, I recommend you actually uh, check them out. Because they're a little, not, not like weird, but they're a group that you have to get used to. You can't just buy them and actually start liking them. Because their lyrics are a little, like, odd. And then, like, some of their songs have weird tones. The song on here I like the most is Loser. Check that out. You may not like them, though, honestly, because most of their songs are a little weird. But I like Loser on here. They're a pretty good group. But they're a different kind of music, I'm telling you. You really got to have a, a taste for them because they're real odd. They're not bad. I'm just saying they're kind of odd. So you do got to get used to them. It's, the group's called Beck. <clears throat> and, of course, I got a Green Day, a Dookie. I, I like this album. There's a really, some really good ones on here. This is one of their old, old albums, and I do like a lot of them. And uh, I do like a lot of Green Day. I just only have, like, one CD. But they're a pretty good group. Green Day. Most people know them. They're real good and popular. I like a 21, 21st Century also, but I don't got that one. But yeah. The next, here's some more Kiss. It's a Peter Chris. I haven't really listened to this that much, so I can't really give you my opinion on this one. Because uh, I got it, but I never listened to it for some reason. But I do have it because I got it like, for like cheap. And it's pretty... I don't know if it's good, but I just got it because I like Kiss and I thought it would be pretty good. It's called Peter Chris. <clears throat> the next uh, is some more uh, 
the cranberries, and as I'm going through this list, none of these acides are in any order. So, uh, yeah, sorry if I you see re uh, the group another time, just with a different CD, because they're not in any order. This is called Cranberries, The Faithful Departed. <clears throat> I got this one too, but I haven't listened to it, but I like the cranberries, so I thought it would be good, so I just picked it up. The Cranberries, uh, Faithful Departed, so it'd be pretty good. I might have to go listen to it sometime. This one's a really good, it's called, uh, the, uh this album's called, uh, No Need to Argue. It's really good. It got, uh, it got Zombie on here, and Zombie's one of their really good songs. You should check out, uh, Zombie, and, uh, I like, uh, I like a lot of songs on here, like, Oh to My Family, I Can't Be With You and stuff. This one's one of my favorites. It's my second favorite Cranberry CD. Then the other one I was talking about, I like, I like too. This one's really good. You can check that one out. <clears throat> and of course, this is my uh, favorite band of like all time. In my, in my opinion, this is one of my favorite bands. You should definitely check them out. But you probably already know who they are if you uh, like rock and stuff. They're called the Foo Fighters. I, and this is a uh, one of my uh, favorite albums. And don't just buy it because you like a uh, Everlong or like a uh, <clears throat> Monkey Wrench or My Hero. I mean, there's a lot of good ones on here that people miss up, mess up, that that people miss basically. Like, uh, I like Hey Johnny Park is really good. My Poor Brain's really good. Up in Arms is really good, and like, uh, CU's really good. There's a whole bunch of ones good in here. This is like my number one Foo Fighters album. And don't just get it because you like, I, like I told you, like Everlong and Monkey Ranch and My Hero. There's a lot of good ones on here that people always miss. They just get it because they like those uh, songs that are really popular. So uh, definitely check this one out. It's called uh, The Color and the Shape by the Foo Fighters. It's really nice. <clears throat> then next I got uh, Nothing nothing Left to Lose, I think. And Nothing Left to Lose by the Foo Fighters. Of course, it got uh, Learn to Fly on here. And it got a whole bunch of other ones that people uh, miss all too. Like uh, I like uh, Stacked, Stacked Actors is a, is a really good uh, song by the Foo Fighters. And The Breakout's really good. And Gimme Stitches and Generators are really good. And Aurora, 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 excuse me if I pronounced that wrong. Kind of hard to say, but yeah. This one's a really good album. I definitely check this one out too. I like this one and that one, but I like uh, The Color and the Shape is one of my favorite ones. But definitely check this one out. I got a really, whole bunch of really good songs. <clears throat> then next I got uh, Foo Fighters In Your Honor. And I got most of the Foo Fighters albums as I'm going through this because I really like the Foo Fighters. And they're a really good group. In my opinion, I like... I like them a lot, and I have almost all their stuff. This is Foo Fighters, In Your Honor. This one's uh, fair, because a lot of the songs on like disc two, this is a, a two disc set, and like a lot of ones on disc two are like more like slow songs, and like acoustic songs. You gotta get used to them if you've been a Foo Fighter, Foo Fighter, uh, if you've been a Foo Fighter fan for a while, because their uh, second disc is kind of slow and stuff. It plays like acoustic songs and stuff, but you just get used to it. But the disc one's pretty good. It got like No Way Back, Best of You, DOA, all that good stuff. <clears throat> this one's fair. It's not my favorite, but I do like it. It's pretty good. <clears throat> then I got, of course, One by One by the Foo Fighters. <clears throat> this is a pretty good album. Still not my uh, favorite one, but this is all, this is better than uh, In Your Honor, in my opinion. I like it. It got uh, All My Life and it got uh, Times Like This on it, which is really good. And this is a two, two uh, CD set. It got a DVD for like uh, music videos and stuff, and I do like this one. It's really good. It's called Foo Fighters One by One. And then next I got a, of course, a, I got Katy Perry, a Teenage Dream, which is nice. And uh, one thing to tell you is, a lot of the uh, songs on here didn't get popular until she actually made the music videos, like uh, Firework and E.T. and uh, Last Friday Night. Because I've owned this uh, CD since it came out, and none of those actually got popular. The only two that were popular when this thing came out were already Teenage Dream and uh, California Girls, but this is a pretty good album. <clears throat> and last last one I got is Selena Gomez, A Year Without Rain. I think this is a special edition one. It got a a DVD behind the scenes and stuff, and it got a a poster, which is really nice, A Year Without Rain. And uh, yeah, this is my last CD. And uh, I would like you to post in the in the comments what your favorite bands, groups, and singers are. And I would like to hear from you and just post them in the comments so I could hear them and see what your opinions are. And I might check out some of your bands that you post and, and tell me in the comments. So uh, that's been my music collection. So I'll see you later.